Today, we will learn how to change Unix credential passwords using Senha Segura. To do this, you must first have previously registered your device, your credential. Here in our example, we will use a Debian 11 device and a credential called Senha Segura. We also need a password change template. The password change template will be nothing more than a logical step-by-step -step or a set of instructions that will be performed on the device after the authentication for the password to be successfully changed. To create a password template for Senha Segura, you need to go to the menu Executions, Settings, Templates. Here will be listed a number of templates already registered in the system. Here in our example, we will use a template that I created for this training. Let's edit the template. Right away we can notice some comments that happen suddenly in our template. These are expect rejects, expect and exec. These are the three main comments that we will use in a unique password change through Senha Segura. It is worth noting that the training is geared towards Unix password changes using the SSH plugin. Now we'll see what expect rejects is and also a bit of an explanation of what expect is. The expect and expect rejects expect. They expect a return expression after an exec. An exec is nothing more than the writing of the argument enclosed in quotes and an enter. Here in our case, for example, passwd and the username of my credential. Here I'm using tags. We'll get to that. And I'm hitting enter. And here in our case, I expect something with this return. So the expect expects a fixed expression. In the expect rejects, we will expect a regular expression. A rejects that you can enclose in quotes. Here in our case, our expect rejects is expecting a group of three prompts from three different endpoint types, be it the dollar sign, hashtag, or more than. So let's read what our template is doing. I'm logging into the device. I'm waiting for the prompt to return. I'm exporting the language to English. And again, I'm waiting for the prompt to return. Right after that, I'm running the passwd username command. Notice that it looks like a variable here, right? Here you're using a variable tag, which can be viewed in view tags. Here are the tags that are available to be used. These tags include information regarding the device and the credential. Here, in our case, what we will be interested in is the username tag, the new password tag, and the current password. Well, once I type in the command passwd username, I expect the device to ask me for the current password. So I will give it an exec with this information. Then I wait for the device to ask me for my new password. Then in the same way, I will enter the tag new password which represents a new random password generated by Senha Segura based on the previously registered and configured password policy. Again, I wait for the device to ask me to confirm this password and I will confirm it. Then I wait for the device to respond that the password was successfully changed. If this statement is not found, the password change will return an error because Senha Segura understands that you are waiting for the password to be changed successfully. In case of failure, you will not get this message. Then the system will return an error in the password change process. So I wait for the prompt again and is it the terminal? Is it the device? Well, once our template is already set up, we need to request a password change. To request a password change in Senha Segura is also in the menu Execute 
Request Password Change. On this screen, we will see all the credentials that have password changes enabled. I'll select mine, Senha Segura, Request Password, Confirm. Well, our change is already scheduled. Now we can follow the logs of our exchange and the result through the same executions menu. But now in list operations. Perfect! We can see that our exchange was successfully performed. And we can view the log by clicking on the magnifying glass icon. Here we will cover all the logs, all the comments and returns from the devices during the change. What we are interested in exactly is this part, where Senha Segura enters the old password, the new password, the new password again, and has the device returned that the password was changed successfully. This way we close this mini training. Thank you.